What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'll be going over the, uh, the gear I carry in my link bag and the essentials that I find uh, I have to pack for a day out in the backcountry. So first off, I want to go over uh, the link bag I'm running this year. So new to me, it's the Link Deep Snow Pro Bag. Uh, I'll be showing you guys other views of this bag too. Uh, it's fully waterproof. It has a waterproof zipper. Uh, airtight, watertight. And I also have the uh, Link uh, Deep Snow Pro Bag lid cover. So, which I also have my shovel with me on my tunnel. So, I'll be going over my Abbey backpack as well. But I have a uh, shovel in my Abbey, ba Abbey bag as well as a shovel with the saw in my link bag. So whether I'm on my sled or the shovel I find most convenient to grab in the situation I'm in. So secondly, uh, I'm gonna start with the clothing I bring uh, in my link bag. So it all packs really nice. Believe it or not, I got quite a bit of stuff on this table and it does fit well in my link bag, so I'll be putting that in a video as well. So, first off, I got uh, my Helmy Hansen down windproof insulated jacket uh, that I wear. I do wear it casually, but I, uh, for the winter time, I pack it. It packs really nice for those colder days or at the end of your day where you're just tired and frozen, you can throw that underneath your uh, your uh, outer shell, like your one piece or your snowmobile jacket. So I find that's really important for me to pack in my lick bag. Secondly, these are new for me this year, is the uh, Pro Gloves from 509. Orange, I went orange because I have orange accents on my gear this year. Uh, as far as my goggles and my gloves and my Aggie backpack. Um, secondly, I have these 509 free ride gloves. I ran these last year. I love them, highly recommend them. Super comfy, uh, mid insulation. So for the, those uh, minus 10, minus 15 days, I've also worn them in minus 20 Celsius days. Um, so yeah, I'm running these as my Probably my main pair uh, for this season and then back of these ones these are for those warmer tree tree riding days um, where you want more grip on your handlebars so I'm pretty stoked to try these out and lastly for the, the ride up the mountain or down or those, those colder days uh, last week I picked up the I believe they're called uh, range gloves. I'll uh, correct myself if I'm wrong on the once I upload the video, but pretty sure yeah, these are the 509 range gloves. Uh, just a longer cuff, uh, like I said, for at the end, the end of the day when you want to head back to the truck, you got a nice dry pair and whatever pair of gloves that I do wear throughout my my, my day. Once they're wet, you can grab them and just shove them in there so they're not touching, your wet gloves aren't touching the rest of your gear and uh, my clothing in my bag. So that's pretty convenient. And for base layers, so I have a couple of pairs. Um, new for me this year are these Climb uh, Aggressor 3.0s. I have the long sleeve and the pants. So those, I have a couple of pairs, so I, I'm always wearing one and I pack one in my tunnel bag. If ever I'm uh, working out hard in the mountain and sweating and then I get cold throughout the day, I can take a minute, change out my base layer. So these are more, these are more of a mid layer but uh, super comfy, super durable, well insulated. So uh, most of the time I just wear that under my one piece. All right, so now, 
some room for the tools here. So as far as tooling, um, I carry a couple different sizes of hose clamps. Uh, these are really important. Uh, you'll, you'll always find a use for these. Um, and then I also carry a small roll of duct tape. Uh, I chose this one. There is, it's brand new, but there's a little thinner than your full, uh, your other option for your for duct tape. Uh, goes a long way for uh, keeping stuff up to get off the mountain. Uh, doesn't take much room in the bag either. Uh, if ever I'm stuck on the mountain, I do have a emergency blanket from Seoul. Uh, so that's obviously something that nobody wants to have to use, but it's there if I do need it. And then if I'm stuck overnight, I have my, uh, my Eroda torch. Uh, so that's another essential. I, I just tape it so it's not, uh, it keeps the toggle from going on when it's in my bag. And then uh, I'll show a description in my video once I upload it, but I have a, it's all taped up. It's a toe strap uh, for, that I keep in my link bag if I ever have to tow someone or if ever I, I have to get towed. Uh, so yeah, that's in there. And then super important is a ratchet strap. Uh, I've seen actually a trick someone in order to get your a-arm realigned and stuff and your put your ski rubbers to take the tension off the bolt through your spindle guys have used this before and i'm sure i'll find or anyone can find other other things to use this for uh something i keep in my skidoo rotax uh, toolkit is a jb weld quick weld uh, so any plastic um, that's on your sled or metal this one will dry in less than five minutes but i i, I uh, put it in my bag mostly for if ever somebody snaps a throttle uh, or something like that um, anything that has to do with the handlebar your, your controls or something on the skis it's Something to have. Um, I carry a little toolkit. Uh, it has four or five of bandages and uh, dressings and swabs and stuff like that. So I do have uh, training in first aid as well. And talking about that, I'm getting my AST1 course, AST1 plus course with Soul Rides, uh, January 19th to the 21st in Revelstoke. Uh, with Jeremy, so I'm pretty pumped for that. It is really important. Uh, most people that ride in the back backcountry do want their partners that they ride with to have it. Because uh, I'm taking it, yes, for me uh, to identify hazards, but I'm also taking it for the people I'm riding with. So, next here I have my Ski Do uh, Road Tax Toolkit. So this, for the most part, can get you off the mountain. Uh, you get all the essentials uh, for the ski do. So you have your spring puller, you have your quarter inch ratchet, and then each of your uh, wrenches, they have two sizes. Uh, so let's say, for example, you have to change your ski rubber on the mountain you can take a ski off with two, two wrenches from your kit. Um, I kind of go overkill a little bit. I try to have, uh, for the most part, a couple of the, each wrench size. So that's what I'll show you in my uh, climb toolkit. But as far as this one, you can get out of the mountain with what they give you. Uh, they give you Hex sockets, they give you normal sockets, they give you Allen key sockets, and then torque sockets. So the ones that you'll most likely use. Um, again, these are metric, so that's why I carry some Imperial tooling in my bag, because if ever 
someone riding a Polaris and they need uh, some wrenching, um, I can help as much as I can with the tools I have. So that's it for that. Uh, I do carry a rope, and this one, the inner core is, uh, you can light it to make a fire. I carry, I run a finger throttle from Munster on my sled. Uh, so I'm, I just carry, I had to change the clip on it, so I just carry the spare bolts and stuff for the housing. And like, it's just hardware for the protectors. As far here as tooling, um, I'm going to zoom in here on the camera when you guys are watching this video. Um, but this is what my toolkit looks like. So here I carry a, a center punch or just a punch because a couple of seasons ago I actually had to take my, my uh, ski off because my ski rubber was all broken. And I, all, I didn't have my punch with me and I didn't have my ratchet strap. So that's all, that's why that's, this is in my bag now. Um, I had a hard time to get the bolt out through the ski. So a punch, really important. I have a, uh, a screwdriver right here that I have all the bits for them. So one tool to do the job with any uh, bolt head I need. A uh, small pair of vice grips. And then I have a knife and then a small pair of long needle nose pliers and then lots of uh, tie wire, metal tie wire. I have a couple of rolls of that in here um, for your A arms and plastics or stuff like that that you can use it for. Uh, I have another spring puller in here, just like this one. Um, nice and light, so I figured why not have it in there. Uh, I have an adjustable wrench. So again, nice and small, fits tidy in my Klein tool bag. And then a small pair of pliers. In a zipper pocket here, I carry uh, two different sizes of tie racks. I carry electrical tape. Again, tape can go a long way, just like the duct tape. Uh, and then I carry my Leatherman Wave Plus uh, little toolkit, multi-tool I mean. Uh, you have some, some bits on here, you have some knives, you have pliers, so nice easy tool. I actually might keep this in my, uh, in my onesie this year in my Skidoo outfit, uh, since it's small. And then I carry my ownership, my insurance, and the uh, a pair of latex gloves. And lastly, as far as tool bags, I have uh, I have a bag that one of our buddies made me um, just for the extra tooling I want to carry. So here I'm taking out sockets, so uh, inverted torque sockets. And then a couple extensions, 3 8 three eighths drive with a 3 8 drive ratchet. I, in my Skidoo toolkit, I have a quarter inch, rent, a quarter inch ratchet. So I'm packing a, uh, a couple of quarter inch extensions. And then in this bag, I have a little Torx kit. Uh, Torque screw, torque Allen, Allen key, I mean. Uh, so I have the Torx one and the metric one. Same thing. Fits nice in my, in my pouch here. And then another extension for my quarter inch ratchet. So one thing I forgot to mention too, uh, I had mentioned my that I carry a punch in my climb toolkit. Uh, but in order to use your punch, you need a hammer. So I just use a small uh, ball peen hammer with a flat flat face on the other side. Nice and small, uh, not very heavy, but 
and it didn't take much room in my bag, so that's something else I carry in there. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in to my uh, toolkit video, and I'm hoping that you guys uh, tune in to my other edits this season. Uh, I'll be putting out lots of content for you guys, so I'm pretty stoked to be doing that. Uh, lot, meeting lots of people and uh, yeah, just having a good time. So please share my platforms, like, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one.